This video is brought to you by my Patreons and sponsors, 3D Print Orlando. No, that's, that's horrible. Oh. I'm gonna have to send me more PLA. <laughs> I love saying that. Hello everyone, how you doing? So, this is how far we are in the jetpack build. A lot of work has been done to get to this point, but every time I look at it, I just get more and more excited. <laughs> Let me catch you up here. We had to weld together every single part, um, which is called PLA welding. So this is where she's at right now. You can see that there's a ton of bondo on there. Look at the back of that. Yeah. Major gap right here. Let me see the bottom right there. Here's the top. Whoa. This print took about, I want to say, a week, a week straight and printing nonstop. I'm talking about waking up at one, two o'clock in the morning. Um, as soon as the printer stops, I had to go to Kira, slice up the next model, go to bed, <laughs> like it was normal. For a week straight, it was, it was, it was rough. It, it was rough. So projects like these can take a long time, especially for me. I have my own family and a regular day job. I'll have a link to the wood burning set that I used to melt all the parts together. So the software that I used to cut up the STL file so it could fit my 3D printer is called Mesh Mixer. I'll put a link in the description below too so you guys can check that out. It's a must have if you're gonna print big with a small printer. <laughs> so this was the first time I ever used Mesh Mixer for like a big project like this. A lot of the times that I needed Mesh Mixer was for support reasons and you know trying to save material but for a project like this this was my first time and i gotta say um i will not cut it up how i did <laughs> i learned a lot slicing this and cutting this model into small pieces if i did that again if i had to do that again i'm gonna slice it up a whole different way just because when i sliced everything up and i cut it to pieces to fit my printer um, I kind of wasn't thinking about the orientation of the model while it was on the printer. I was just cutting it up, you know, oh, does it fit the printer? Boom, and just plopped it on there. On my next run, um, I'm gonna be a lot smarter taking care of that. I'll be building the whole suit, all right? I'm not messing around. <laughs> yeah, let me know what you guys think. Um, I've seen, I've seen the toys for this and i didn't really know the colors of the jetpack until i started looking at the toys a couple weeks ago and it's actually pretty cool it's like gold and black so let me know what theme would be dope for paz because i'm kind of just thinking about you know if i should just keep it blue or change the color but i'm not sure right now is the time to get those ideas in because I'm still uh, I'm still thinking about what to do and how I want to do it if I want to put my own little flavor in there which I will well, and I'll get a little something in there don't forget to hit me up in the comments I like when you guys hit me up in the comments I'll get back to you whatever um, whatever questions you have let me know and if I don't know I'll figure it out <laughs>